Hello, and welcome to an InView training video. Today we're going to go over how to take a box and add a film to a window to have like a window inside the box, a transparent window. Um, we'll actually start out with a box from the library that already has one, kind of take a quick look at that, and then we'll dig in. We'll create our own box. Well, we'll use one from the library. We'll put a cutout in it. We'll use parametric components, create a new drawing, add the film, and kind of show you how it all goes together. And in that process, you'll get to see some parameters and parametric um, global parameters, these kind of things. So uh, hopefully you'll find the training useful. So let's just jump in. First thing I'm going to do, I'm in our, you know, our new uh, search window here. And I'm actually just going to just start out with a specific box that I know. And this box here, I'm going to open up into InView. And you'll see that it has a die line and then it has a window. So let's just go kind of look at it in 3D. So you can see the box and it's got this piece of film on the front. We actually go look at the film by itself and uh, it's just a piece of plastic. We can go look at the material properties of that and see it's a plastic gloss. Um, you know, we could pick a, a mat or a film or whatever we want and, um, you know, change that out. The um, here's the individual drawing for that. And there's our overall box. So just like with, you know, all the resizable drawings, you can come in here and start to change the different parameters. So if we come in here and we say, hey, let's make this a little bit taller. So we'll make it like eight inches. Um, come back to our 3D, uh, refresh it, and you'll see now we have a taller box. And when we play through this, let's zoom out a little bit here, and we kind of see how it goes together. Notice currently the way this is designed, it's just spaced off there at the moment. Um, the window will drop into place. That distance was, um, you know, set. Um, actually, if we go and look in here, you can see the, the it's just offset by A, which is the, the A width of the box. So we can kind of look at that. And then if we play through, that part will drop into place. Box will fold up. And uh, one important note is also when it folds in, the the cellophane everything folds in together like it's supposed to okay so if we want to know how that happened with the folding part we could come down here and we can look at this step and you know basically the since that panel's been added it's going to fold on the the angle that's used for the uh angle of the box there so that's more of a complicated one and we've got that out of the library but let's just go and actually create our own real quick and do something a little bit simpler so hopefully you kind of get an idea how that went together. Um, so I'm going to just go to our library and I'm going to take one of our basic kind of very common in view boxes here and let's just open that up into in view. And so there's our box. Um, let's go ahead and make it just a little bit shorter. So I'm going to make it, uh, let's just say four inches tall. We'll refresh. There's our box. We'll go ahead and move up a little bit. We can also look at this if we want in kind of a solid wireframe so we can kind of see how the structure looks. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll put a window on this face. Okay, a cutout. So I'm going to go to my Synergy components and I'm going to go get a hole. And I want a hanging hole because it's going to use a couple of uh, anchor points down here. And let's just get this kind of center one and drag it out. Oops. I'll zoom in here and I'm going to snap it to that point and I'm going to snap it to that point. I get some new parameters. I'm going to just accept those parameters as they are and then let's zoom out. And now let's start to work with this. So when I get to my parameters here, you can see here are my different, um, uh, we got this basically the, the window, the height, the length, the distance that's off the bottom and the radius of the corners. So what I'd like to do is have this be resizable with my box and maybe just have a, like a, a, a half inch border around the outside. So let's start to center it up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start to move this towards the middle. So let's take this VHO and we know our height is the height. So let's take height and divide it by two. Now we're not really in the center because the HW is higher. Let's just make HW a little bit bigger to kind of see at the moment. So we make that two inches. So let's also subtract H, W divided by two. So now we're definitely in the center and we definitely started out in the center here. So let's take H, L 
and let's take HW and let's just make them so they have a, a half inch border around the outside. So we'll take first the HL, that's the, that's the uh, length this direction here, and we're going to use the parameter A. So we'll say A minus um, one, actually, and so that'll give us a half inch border on both sides. And then let's take this other parameter, which is HW. So we've got, we'll say H, and let's make H minus one. Okay. All right. So now you can see we've got this bigger window. And then um, what we want to do is we want to create a drawing that we can actually put a piece of film on this window. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom and I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say create new one up drawing and let's just call it window. All right. So we've got a new drawing. I'm going to go grab a synergy component. So we'll go get a resizable component of base and we just need a simple um, panel and we're going to drag that out and put it right here. Okay. And we get a couple of parameters. Now we know an A is already being used and maybe even a B. So I'm going to uncheck these and create my own parameters and I'm going to call this like window and we'll say a and then I'll it'll give me the item to enter in something and we'll come back to that later and I'm gonna make this one like window and it could be anything but we're gonna make this the height all right and so same thing we'll just take that because we're gonna go put some parameters in in a second and say okay so we've got this rectangle here so now we want to go back to our parameters and I need to be able to share some parameters from the previous drawing so I'm gonna go back to the previous drawing and I really, I'd like to use this, um, this uh, H, uh, HW and this HL. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them global. So if I come here and I say make global, oh, I get an error and it says, hey, you, you, A is dependent also, so we need to do something with that. And I'm gonna run into the same problem with H. So I'm gonna come up here to A and to H, I held my control key and I'm gonna say make global. And I'm gonna come down here to these two and I'm gonna make them global. Okay, so now I can share those parameters with uh, my other drawing. So if I come back on this window drawing, you'll see here at the top, I got this A, the H, the HL, and the HW. Okay, so let's start with our um, window height. And let's say that this is gonna be, um, my H, H, W, and then I'm going to minus point or plus, actually, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, plus 0.5. So this will give me like a quarter inch border around the outside to be able to glue to. And maybe we want even a little bit more. So maybe we can say plus, you know, 0.75. All right. Got too many points in there. And then let's do the same thing for here. Let's take the H, L, H, L. And let's add 0.75. Okay, so now we've got our window. Let's create a 3D out of the window. And so now you'll see it's just using the same material as it was using for the box. We'd like to have different materials. So we need to come over here and go to File, Properties. And on the materials, we're going to say, I'd like each drawing to use its own material. So I'm going to say, okay. So now on this one, Let's go to properties, use own material, and let's get a piece of plastic. And we'll go get that gloss and say, okay. So now we've got a, our, our piece of plastic here and our window that's ready to put in. So if we come back and we now look at our box, we need to refresh that. So you can see our box has got its, its window in there. Man, my glue tab's getting pretty close on that size, but it's something we could adjust for, or take into account for. Um, I, I, I should say my tongue locking system is getting close. All right, but let's, uh, or the tongue. Anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked there. So let's take the box and let's open it up to the initial state. Um, and let's flatten it out. And then let's drop our window on there. So we're going to go to our 3D tool so we can bring in multiple pieces. See, here's our box. Here's our window. Let's uh, rotate our window around and grab the back side of it here and we're going to stick it to that face and you see we can move it around a little bit even after we place it we have the ability to move it around some more 
but it's now in place. So I'm gonna close this. If I did wanna make some adjustments to it, see I could come in here and I, I got this tool here where I can move it around, but we want it centered, but I could even you know, rotate it. I could do whatever I needed to, but we, we, we are exactly where we wanna be. And if I wanted to drop it in or turn on when I want it to be seen, um, we can also have it when we want it to be visible. But since it's just sticking on here right now, um, we can just say we want it, but we can also notice we can move it off. So let's uh, let's make this look, uh, there we go. So you can see that panel is off now. And so that's the other thing we could do is we can make it move in and out if we wanted to and show how it sticks on the drawing. But we'll just, we'll just start out with it on there. I guess, actually, let's move it out. So we'll move it out two inches and say, okay. And let's also make it not initially visible. All right. Okay, so now when we get to our production steps here, we're in this production pre-fold here. And so before we do that, let's insert a step below here. And then let's come down to this window and let's show it. Okay, so there's our window. Let's put one more step below here. And then on this one, let's move it into place. Okay, so we'll um, grab our window and let's make a move and we'll move it down to our two inches. So we should be able to just click on here. There we go, two inches. All right, so now we're on like we should be. So now let's just go ahead and watch how this box comes together real quick. So we'll play and you'll see our piece come in, it's gonna fold up. Let's see the bottom come together. We can set all our viewpoints and stuff if we want to and our top come together. And there we go. Now, what's really the cool power of all this, let's turn our view back to solid and center this up. And if we now go to our original drawing and let's say, oh, now we wanna make our box bigger. So we want this height to be six inches and, um, you know, we want this uh, A parameter to be, let's call it four inches. Okay, so we made it a little bit bigger. And now our um, B, which is this width here, is actually lower on the list. So if I click on B and I hold control, uh, well, nope, they're global, so I can't move it up. But you can move things up and down by holding control, but the global parameters have to be at the top. So we could also make this one global if we wanted to, and then we might move it up a little bit. So it's with the normal parameters that we're adjusting up here. So A, B, and H, all right. And then let's say if we want B to be a little bit thinner for the sake of argument, let's make it two, okay? But now when I go and I look at my 3D and I refresh it, notice everything's changed because we're all parametric. And so has that um, window piece has changed. So um, you know, that's got a different height. And then, you know, the other thing we could do if we wanted, so we could come back and we could, you know, change that border. So let's say like right now we've got it minus one. That's this border around here. We could actually come down here. Let's do a new parameter. Let's call it, um, window border. Okay. And we'll just leave it local for the moment. And um, actually, we're going to need to make it global to make it global. And then let's move it above these two parameters because it needs to be above to use this. And then right here, so right now we'll fill in one for the moment, but we can make this our window border. Let's make this one our window border. So now if we come in here and we say, hey, let's make our window border 1.5. See that shrunk our window a little bit. So if we refresh, you'll see that. But at the same time, it has also come in and it has changed our dimensions on this. So everything's parametric. Everything stays together like it's supposed to be. Um, and it can save you some time. So, and then if we wanted to insert, same thing, we could do a new drawing, continue to build on it. But So hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, let me know. Happy to help. Thank you.